Hi, welcome again to another episode on Chris O. If you are visiting for the first time, you are welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you always for tuning in. And I do hope you enjoy this um, the episode. So for those of you coming into the channel for the first time, I am Chris. I'm a graduate student at the Simon Fraser University in Canada, where I study philosophy on a fully funded scholarship. And in this episode, I bring about fully funded scholarship opportunities. So I do also talk about uh, fully funded scholarships in the um, natural and applied sciences. And in fact, in today's episode, just like in the last episode where I talked about fully funded in scholarship in agricultural science, in today's episode, I'll be talking about fully funded scholarships in immunology and microbiology for those who want to go for their PhDs or their master's degree in immunology and microbiology. So today's episode for you. So buckle on your shoes and tighten your on your belt. You are in for a ride as always. <laughs> If you don't already know, for those of you who are coming into the scholarship space for the first time, this period, starting this September until January 15th for most schools and to, for other schools, December 2023, scholarship portals are open. So this is the time to start getting your documents ready to apply for these scholarships. So purposes of those who want to apply for scholarship, I am discussing different fields, not just for the humanities, but for also the natural and applied sciences so this is the time if you are looking to apply for scholarship there is no any other time than to give it a shot start gathering all your documents if you do not know document to gather watch my videos check other videos that i have made you see directions and in fact in this episode i'll be dropping links to um documents um supplemental documents or the documents that you need to apply to each of the schools so Pay keen attention to the uh, pay keen attention to the video and you'll find useful information. Yeah. Okay, that's enough talk. <laughs> Let's get right down to business. So in today's episode, we have about seven schools that offer fully funded programs in their immunology and microbiology programs. So about six schools. So there are you know variety of options to you know to choose from. So what are these schools? On the first, the first on our list is the University of Western Ontario is in Canada. We have the McGill University also in Canada. University of Saskatchewan also in Canada. And then we have University of San Francisco in the US. And we have University of Guelph in Canada. University of British Columbia in Canada, in fact, my province, and then University of Columbia in the US. So these schools have fully funded masters and PhDs in immunology and microbiology. So let's get down to the first school on our list, University of Western Ontario. So the base funding for their master student is 20,000 and the base funding for their PhD student is 30,000 per annum. So if you check here, they have um, different kinds of funding. Apart from this base funding, you can as well apply to other schools. And what do you need to apply to this school? To apply to this school, you do not need a supervisor beforehand. You do not need a supervisor beforehand. What you need is to your CV, um, CV statement of research interest, your academic, um, your transcript of course, and then two letters of references from your from your supervisor. However, when you are admitted to this school, you will be required to at least secure a supervisor, which is very important. So. Whether or not it is required for you to um, get a supervisor before applying, I would highly encourage you to reach out to, to professors before applying. So that is that for the University of Western Ontario. Let's go to the second school on our list, which is the McGill University in, in 
Canada. So this school offers in the first in your first year of your masters, they offer you twenty one thousand one hundred and eighty three Canadian dollars. They offer the same amount in the second year of your masters program, and then they offer to help with tuition to support you with tuition. The department offers seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty Canadian dollars for international master student and then in your first year and then in your second year they offer you nine thousand three hundred and fifty canadian dollars in your second year this is alongside or in addition to the base funding they offer in the department which is twenty one thousand and one hundred and eighty three canadian dollars and then for their phd student for international phd students they offer to the same amount, 21,000 in the first four years of your studies, minimum funding. Then they offer $15,620 to cover tuition differences. And then in this, from fifth to seventh year of your PhD, they offer another 21,183 and then plus. Um, Okay, no tuition support for that year. So they have enough funding, this is to say. So they have different funding that you can as well tap into if you're applying to this school. Remember, this school is the school that has the um, the Maggie McBain scholarship, which I have made the video. So if you happen to see yourself in this school, you can as well apply to that program. Yeah, so that is that for McGill University to apply to this school. You need to secure a supervisor beforehand, you know. I've already made videos on how to um, secure a supervisor. So check, there's a link up here that you would um, see to watch that video about securing a supervisor, which is titled How to Write Code Emails. And then the third school on our list is the University of Saskatchewan in Canada as well. What do this school offer to their international students? So for thesis based students, they offer for the amount for two years of funding at they offer two years of funding at um, 18,500 per year for international student on thesis based master's program. Then for for their PhD student, they offer twenty-two thousand per year for PhD student. And don't forget, admission requirements is almost the same thing as the other schools. You submit letters of references, academic statement of research interest, and what again do you need? Application fee to this school is one hundred and twenty. Canadian dollars. So that is that for the University of Saskatchewan. They, are, they have different kinds of other funding that you can tap into should you find yourself in this school. Yeah. So on our list, we have the fourth school on our list is the University of San Francisco in the US. So this school, it reads on their website that admit that students admitted to the biology program receive generous financial assistance from the department of biology all admitted students receive full tuition tuition scholarships for their graduate studies what this means is you don't have to pay school fees if you are admitted into this program and then you can win um you can secure teaching and as teaching and research assistantships which is valued at nine thousand us dollars per year so that is pretty good and this program that microbiology is housed in their biology department so this program is actually masters in biology yeah so to apply to this school you will need the same document as other schools and you can find application info in the link in the description um, section of this video so that is that for this school and then we go to the fourth school on our list which is university of Guelph. 
On the University of Guelph, their microbiology program is housed in the Molecular and Cellular Biology Department. And for funding, they said on their website that all incoming students in the master's and PhD graduate programs will receive financial support, which support is made through graduate and graduate teaching and research assistantships, right? So to find out what this document, what this, um, what this amounts to, you know, in actual fund that this will result to, we we'll go to the uh, College of Biological Science. We can find that for their master students, they give out um, twenty-one thousand four hundred and sixty Canadian dollars per year, and for their PhD student, they give out twenty-five thousand four hundred and sixty dollars per year. So that is that for the University of Guelph. To apply, you also need other things the other schools require and you have to secure a supervisor. So that is that for the University of Guelph's um, Masters in Microbiology, Masters and PhD in Microbiology. So the next school on our list is the Microbiology and Immunology Program at the University of British Columbia. For their master student, they will pay $26,791 Canadian dollars per year in, in base funding. And then for their PhD student, they would pay $29,070 Canadian dollars per year. That is base funding. There are other scholarships in the department that you can find to apply to. And what is said about their um, admission is very is quite interesting that is why i would like us to look at it so you have to write to you have to secure a supervisor first before you go on to apply to this program the admission is already open now so that the application portal is already open you can submit your application and then it runs until february 1st for international student and february 14th for domestic student and they made an important um, note or I don't, instruction that you do not message all the professors in the, in the department asking them to supervise you. That's obviously bad. So message only one person that you think you want to work with. That person only. Don't message two. Don't message three. Just one person. Because you could message more than two persons and then they talk about amongst themselves and then you'll be cast or they will cast you <laughs> so that is bad so that is that for the university of british columbia and then the last school on our list is the university of columbia in the u.s so this school has no master's program in in the in for immunology and microbiology they only have PhD program. But the good thing is you don't need a master's degree to do this their PhD program, right? So all you need is a bachelor's degree with good grades, at least a 2-1 and a good sense of research, you know. So they are so you can as well earn your master's in, in, in microbiology along your along the way as you do your PhD. And here's what they said about funding. So you will be given full support for tuition, student health services, and medical insurance. You will also receive a stipend for your personal use, which continues throughout your graduate study. So medical insurance, full tuition, um, health services, student health services, and then living, living expenses, um, living stipend, living stipend, right? So they do not need GRE and TOEFL and there is no number of international students they can, they can admit. This department does not impose any cap on accepting foreign applicants. If accepted, they are fully funded by the program. So everyone is welcome. There is no number of international students they are allowed to hire. Now, if you want to apply to this school, they will be judging your application based on four criteria. Your undergraduate grades, your research experience, the personal statement, and then letters of recommendation. So these are the things you need to write very well. Your grades, your undergraduate grades is already passed, but your research experience, personal statement, and letters of recommendation is what you can improve on. 
so that is that for these programs if you are interested make sure to apply so my friends that is what we have in today's episode so if you are an in someone who wants to apply for a macrobiology and immunology want to go do masters or phd in this two in this field then this video is for you and if you have family member or an acquaintance who is also interested in this area please do well to share the video with them and if you did enjoy this um, video please do leave a thumbs up for me and you know the like button please click on it and then help me to share the video as well and then subscribe many of you come to watch the video without subscribing please what is happening do subscribe so without further ado let's call it a day thank you for tuning in yeah bye bye and see you next week